right, finally, to your number one story for the dumbest sports story in March of 2017. That honor goes to... Uh, so there's this basketball coach. It's just it's a very short video. Uh, so basically what happens is from like I think a D.C. area basketball game. There's a guy coaching like five year olds, five year olds, six year olds in basketball. I have a five year old myself. I know how difficult it is. So you see here he is. They're, they're dripping the ball. They're great. Awesome. You're doing a great job, kids. Fantastic. Oh, OK, good. Wait. OK, so he passes the ball. Passes it to him. Wait, no, no, don't go the wrong way. No, wait, wait. And boom. Oh, that kills me so much because you know we have all had this dream we, we don't get to be the tallest person in the real world but here he is Dikembe sit down absolutely kills me we have all listen I have a five-year-old and I understand the temptation he played basketball he loves to play he's really good every once in a while though Daddy's just got to get his Dikembe and just smash it down. Sure, it will probably cause him some troubles down the line. But for right now, it's hilarious. And that video absolutely kills me because, because there's something so helpless about that, about watching a five-year-old dribble the wrong way. What do you do? He chose to do the Matambo. That was, that was an interesting decision. It certainly made my life a little happier. Oh, I mean, that's hilarious because it's funny. He was probably yelling at this kid to stop, to stop, and the kid wasn't stopping. And so, so he finally what are you going to do over there? And yeah, yeah. You just uh, got to posterize him. Like, <laughs> that's what he had to do. Uh, made him a viral video. That's awesome. Yes, exactly. exactly. All right, Will. So we're, we're nearly a week into the uh, month of April. Is there anything that, uh, that has caught your eye that could be in the top 10 demo sports stories of April? Uh, certainly, uh, the an early contender for a good spot on this list is definitely Nick's owner James Dolan yelling at a fan outside of a, uh, getting in a fight with a fan outside of the game. You know, I am in fact a Knicks fan, so you are? I I am I I, I it was a total mistake. <laughs> I, I totally regret it. I've gone too far to go back, but I, it was a it was a total mistake. And because uh, I started cheering for them in two thousand, I moved to New York because they had been good for like fifteen years. I thought. Great, I'll pick a winning team. That did not work out at all. So I understand the inclination of rooting, uh, of of the, how frustrating it is to be a Knicks fan right now. So just to add on to that, now you have an owner that gets in fights with the fans outside of games. Um, yeah, is if you need any more proof that everything involving the Knicks, it all starts from the top. It's the fact that not only is, is the, that horrible product being put on the court every night, but he'll yell at you for the privilege. That's wow. a nice touch.